Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the query parameters. How to send the query parameters for the HTTP uh, API URL through HTTP we have seen. Now in this video, we will see some of the other settings. How what we can do with the HTTP client. So before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to my channel, please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will be posting more and more front-end development courses. So coming to this video, now here if you see for example this is the create post create post means nothing but what we can say is so here we are creating the post if you go to the post here we are creating post on creating post if i go to payment component.ts okay where i am using on create post i am using it here so if i if i print the console.log response okay if i do the console.log response what could be the response here so you'll be getting the inserted id so the id of the data we will be uh, the data what we have inserted into the database the id of that of that one it will be giving so if i go here and if i try to do the console and if i try to try to print here and if i uh, click on add post so if i click on add post here what i will be getting oh sorry it's, it's refreshing okay fine now let me try to add the data here and here if i click on add post now here i am getting what is the response i am getting so i am getting the response name name and name the id in a name with a name id we are getting so that means what we are getting we are getting only the response response the data what is sent by the server we are getting now if you want to get the status code or otherwise the response headers what are the headers that has been sent by the server and remaining all the data or some other data if you want to get total response how you can get the data so that is that one how we can get the data is so using the here what i can say in the post dot service here in the create post default one what it will try to send is it will try to send the only the data what has been sent to the sent from the server it will be sending so it will not send the headers and the status type or these all the things it will not send so now if you want to get those all data then what we need to do is we need to use one special key that is observe if we if we do observe it will be having body but actually body is the default one so body means you'll be getting only the body body means the data so actual data we'll be getting but we need to get the total response okay so we need to write response actually the here the installation it is not giving we will be having a key response now if you give the if we if we write the response here and if i go if i go to the output okay if i go to the output and if i try to print it here so what would be the output let's see so the response so previously we got only the name we have got right now if i try to print the everything data so now what i will be getting so here if i click on add post now the data uh, the response what we have got is different so we are getting total http response object and in this one we are having the body so the body the body of the, the data what we are getting previously is the is the body now headers so these are all the headers response headers what has been sent by the server and is okay is true okay means we have got the success status is 200 status text is okay so these are 200 220 xxx we, we which are our 20 x uh, 2 with starting with 200 and all those things is 201 202 these are all status okay status means uh, success uh, status if you are getting 400, 500, these are all 400 is the authorization thing, bad request and all those things and 500 is the server error, these are all the status codes we will be having. Status checks is okay. And we are getting the type 4. Type 4 means what we can say is, uh, if you are, uh, if you know about this JavaScript, Ajax and all those things, if you are doing XML HTTP request, then you will be able to understand the array on ready state, uh, sent, uh, before sent, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, four four is means uh, we are successfully sent and we got the response so these these are these are the response types we will be having okay ready states we can say the, or something like so type we are getting it as four four means it's uh, sent uh, got from the server so this is the total response we are getting so if you want to do if you want to use you can use the response dot body so this is how we can get the total response for uh, total response the http response total response we can get by using this observe response if you don't use this one default is the body so body means you'll be getting only the body here so the whatever the body you are having this is the the data this data only you will be getting the you'll be getting as the output now 
we will go to delete post and here i will be showing another one so what i can do is so here i can add again the headers okay now i will not be adding the not i will be not adding headers i will be adding observe okay observe so you will be having the observe and we know about the body and we know about the uh, what i can say response now what we will be well, what we will be having is we will be having events okay so let's try to know what is by events so before subscribing here what i can do is i can do the i can add the pipe of tap operator tap operator what it will do is it will not manipulate the data okay it will not manipulate the map map operator what it will do is map operator it will take the data response okay before go, going into the subscripts it will take the response and it will manipulate the data and it will send it to the subscribe thing so that means the modified response will be it will be going to the subscribe but the tap operator what it will be doing is before going to this response so the same data will be going to the subscribe but in between this uh, before sending you want to do any operations okay you want to do any log operations or anything operations without modifying the data so what we are getting from the response without modifying the data if you want to do any operations or anything you can do it in the tap operator so tap operator will not return any data so just it will take the response and if you want to do any operations with the response you can do but the response data you will be it will be not changing okay you need to remember so here i will be getting the response so this is the tap operator i will be getting the response okay so i cannot modify the data but i can use this response data and i can do whatever i want okay i can send it to another data i can i can i can do the database log or anything i can do but i cannot modify the response data if you want to modify the response data you need to use the map operator and that map operator will modify the data and it will return the response okay modified response it will return you now here in the tap response just i will try to do is console.log response i will try to print the console.log response so now if you see console.log response what it will try to do is if you go here and if you try to uh, uh, refresh it refresh it let, uh, let it refresh for example okay let me save this one so it is compiling okay it is com uh, it is compiling now let it compile okay now it has been compiled so it is refreshing now if i go if i go here and if i do what, what for which one i have written for the delete post i have written remember this one so for the delete post so now i am going here and i am deleting the response okay i am deleting the post so if i click on clear post you observe here i am getting type 0 type 0 and i am getting the response okay you are able to understand that right uh, type 0 type 0 why we are getting is in the subscribe also i have written i have printed the response so that is the reason we are getting okay so if we remove this one so here i am getting the type 0 and also what i am getting and the response you are getting so that means type 0 is nothing but what we can see is type 0 is sending the data okay so it has uh, the request has been sent and afterwards type 4 when the type 4 is uh, we got so when i click on here i got the type 0 type 0 means the request has been sent and afterwards we get the type type as 4 okay so that means with the type 4 we, we got the entire data so if you want to do any operations here uh, if you want to do any uh, loading or progress but telling that sending the data so the data has been sent waiting for the response if you want to show any uh, any what we can say any any messages something like that so granular what we can say is uh, modifying uh, you can use inch by inch by inch the, the data if you want to use the granular uh, total full support from the code from the code if you want to use this you can use this one so now what i can write here if you want to use what i can write here so here i can take if response okay dot type is equal to is equal to one so we can write zero zero if response is equal to is equal to zero means what i can write console log log response sent okay response sent, not not response sent request sent so request has been sent but it is waiting for the result now when the response got it will again come to the tap operator so every for every uh, event for every event event changing event is nothing but the changing of the uh, type thing so for every event changing it will it will it will uh, execute the tap and it will execute the subscribe so now i can write here if response dot type is equal to is equal to 4 if it is equal is equal to 4 means then i know that i will be having the body so i can print the body so when when we send the data we will be not having the body when we when we got the response we can we can write response dot body so now if i go if i go to here and if i try to execute okay let it let it compile now it has been compiled 
now if i go here if i try to refresh this one so we will be having uh, inch by inch data we can be able to change the data so for example if i go here and if i change this one okay now if i click on clear post so request sent and i am getting null null as the data why because we are getting the null so if i print the response total response here okay if i print the total response here so what could be the thing so from the delete request we will be getting empty data okay response the body will be the null so we will be not getting any data we will be not getting so that is the reason we are returning that error null operator so for example if i go here and if i do the same thing if i do the same thing so uh, in the response the total http response you will be getting the body as null so if you try to check here and let me click on the let me click on the clear post again so why because we are uh, writing the clear post here so request has been sent and here is the http response if you see here the body is null see you'll be able to see so that is the reason why i got the body null so we will be having each by each granular uh, what we can say uh, granular grip on your code so you can write each by inch whatever the code you want to get you can write and here zero instead of using the zero in typescript in the typescript only not in the javascript in the typescript you will be having special constant type of things what is it what we can say is http event type okay so this one will be having from the imported from the angular common http so you will be having this one in the angular common http so where i can uh, yeah, this one http type let me import here okay so i have imported so now if you go top it will be imported from the http event type from the angular common so now what i can do here http event dot if you if you print dot you will be able to see the responses see so sent is the thing what we can uh, understand so if i go down sent is nothing but zero see here type dot sent is zero so here you can write directly like this on and here sent means we have sent the request and here we can also use HTTP event type. Remember that it will be it is existed in only TypeScript. So here I can I can tell response. Response means we got the response. So we can write like this also. So like a constants you can you can define. So instead of writing hard coding 04, you can write like this also. So this are this is also one and the same only. So now if I go here and if I try to do try to execute, so you will be getting the same output. So you will be not if you go here and if i try to execute this one if i try to execute so here if i click on clear post request is sent and we got the http response same thing and here we got the body null so same thing so what we have did well and another one what i what i need to tell you is another another thing so we have covered in this in this object headers params observe and another thing what i can tell you is another one is response type so the type of the response you want to mention so response type default we are getting the json data so the default the angular also takes as a json only but if you want to print that one as a if you want to print that one as a text data so if you want to get the data if you want to get the response as a text means so you you can explicitly mention in the type of the response what you are expecting okay right now the response what we are getting from the server is the json you need to remember and here if i convert it into text okay if i convert this one into text so then what you can do what it what it will happen previously we are getting null here see as a as a null we are getting as a type only we are getting now if i refresh this one and if i click on clear post the null will be returning as a string string data we will be getting the data as a string data so now if i go and if i click on clear post again so a request has been sent and in this http request so you'll be able to see that null is the, null is on double quotes if you, if you are able to see null is on double quotes so that means it is a null is a string operator string data so that means the response type we have converted the response type into a text data so this is the way you can convert the response that is coming from the server we can expect the response like a text data also so if the server is returning the data as a json you can convert you can expect the data as a text so that the um response the http will convert it into the text and it will return it to you okay so these are all the observe response type params and the, and what I can say headers thing. So in the HTTP thing. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.